Hello Taurus, these are your tarot cards for June of 2023. I'm Danielle Stimson of Learn Reiki Philadelphia, and if you're into things like crystals, Reiki, and tarot, I suggest you hit that subscribe button because we have so much fun on this channel, you're not going to want to miss a moment. I also recommend that you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos if you happen to know all three to get the most detailed and specific information about your month ahead. So let's go ahead and peek at those cards. Okay, so Taurus, your focus of the month is the Three of Pentacles. This is all about refining your, your work efficiency and your work quality. Here we see the Three of Pentacles. It's people coming together. It's uh, like different skill sets working together to make the most of what's there. For some of you, this might be the different skill sets within yourself. For some of you, this is going to be working with colleagues or even bringing in people from other industries to do what they do and bring in their level of expertise. This can also be a matter of like the small minutia things, like uh, taking a look at what you do and the systems you use to see if there's a way that you can be more efficient or things that you can automate. Very much, like I said, refining your work and also how to even improve the output of your work. So that's the focus of the month. The energy that you are entering the month with out of May is justice. And justice is all about fairness. This is, uh, as you can see, it's not about the pictures of the past and what used to be. It's just about like, okay, let's balance this out. This can be really helpful energy to kind of pull into this month to kind of keep things focused on, okay, what can I do? What can I honestly expect of myself? And am I giving myself enough time to focus on my life? Am I giving myself enough time to focus on my health? That level of fairness and also fairness within yourself uh, am I making enough time for me? So you may have to communicate boundaries outside. You may have had to communicate boundaries inside. It was probably some combination of the two, but there's a lot of emphasis on fairness as you come into the month. It's a really good place to start off when you're starting to look at the smaller aspects of how you live your life and especially how you do your work. So what's the challenge? Challenge is eight of swords. Swords are about mental and mental and intellectual clarity and usually that's what the ace of sword would bring as the challenge we get more the transverse meaning and so this is really representing a difficulty of having like pure unadulterated logic coming in to some extent this could be aspects for some of you it might be aspects around shame or denial or maybe even not wanting to see what's really going on but yeah, there's definitely looking at things with just pure clarity is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Not insurmountable, but it'll be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, new ways of thinking is another way of looking at this. So it might be difficult as much as you're refining things to open yourself to that complete and total new way of looking at things. And it may just be cloudy that you're looking at so many new ways to do things that all together, it's just a bit much. What's the best way forward? What can you do with this? It's yet another ace, and it is the ace of wands. Wands are action. Also, as you can see by these candles and things, it's a lot more of like a, a sacred kind of spiritual feeling than we see here with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is pure logic. We even see some bookshelves back there. This is a little bit more connected to spirit. I would say as the advice of best path forward, this would be a little bit more like trusting your gut. If, the, if it's difficult to use your logic to suss things out, go with your gut. Trust your gut. Start to feel your way forward. Start to also go with, hey, this is really exciting to me and I want to pursue it. Follow those kinds of things. So yeah, sometimes logic might be a bit much. Start just showing up and doing the things that feel right and see how that fits and how that suits. The last card of your reading is actually really powerful and I think really beautiful. 
this is the whispers from your guides. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's your guides giving you uh, a heads up, some advice, any number of things. For you, this month, it is the King of Cups. Kings, queens, those face cards, sometimes in readings, they show up as someone else. And sometimes they show up as us or an energy or a way of looking at things, our perspective, or how we can show up in a situation. For some of you, this could be someone else. And for some of you, it's going to be you. And I feel like the best way to start is looking at this for how you want to show up in the month. The King of Cups is about compassion. He's motivated by how people are going to feel you, but also other people. This is cups being emotions and emotional fulfillment. If you look at everything just in a matter of logic and resources and you keep it to very black and, and white, cut and dry, you might not get the essence that you want. Bringing in that compassion for self, compassion for others, how do I work together with others, that could be a much better perspective. And the king energy is very much like boss daddy who thinks about the feelings of others and how others are people, not just the folks working for him. So this actually has a nice juxtaposition with where you spend your month. So here it is this can be a card of collaboration, coming together with other people of different skill sets and working in harmony. And this would be someone saying, yeah, think about is, is everyone being supported in a way that makes them want to show up in fullness? Are you supporting yourself in a way that makes you want to show up in your fullness? That's going to be the key for the month. So as you go through this month, remember, be kind and compassionate to yourself. If all of these tasks need to get done, but you look at it and you say, wow, it's an awful lot to do, be compassionate to yourself and figure out a way to, whether it's automating or trusting someone else, outsourcing, looking at the different tasks in a different way, do that. But showing up as, you know, take a deep breath, leading from your heart a little bit more, and really being motivated by your passions and trusting your gut, that's going to be the way forward. So keep going the way that you've been going, and you're going to really start to see some great opportunities show up, because this is also a card of really significant opportunities too. So the only thing is just it's okay. It's okay that you can't quite see the logic. Maybe it's not about the logic. Maybe it's about trusting what you feel. So with all of that said, Taurus, I hope you have a beautiful month ahead. I'm a Taurus moon, so I completely get it. I definitely recommend you check out the videos for your sun, moon, and rising sign if you happen to know all three, as well as any other major placements that you may have. And if you would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one tarot reading with me, or a distance healing session with me, you can do that in the link below, learnreikiphiladelphia.com. If you found this video helpful, definitely hit that like button and hit the subscribe button with your notification bell on so you don't miss an opportunity to see your July cards as soon as they are available. Thank you so much for tuning in, Taurus. Have a beautiful month, and I hope to see you again soon.